hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to create email templates in Odoo so if I go to um, settings and if I activate the developer mode okay so once after the developer mode is activated if I go to settings and then to the technical you can see a templates of menu here so if I open the templates menu you can see around 19 templates are right the right now they are in, inside this current database so let's see how we can create a new templates for our hospital management module so the purpose is that if i go to the hospital and then to the patients let's see we have got patient card so if i print the patient card you can see we are getting a card for the patient so it's getting loading you can see you will get a patient card like this so let's see how we can send this patient card to the patient over the email so i have added a new field here that is email id I will just give it a simple yasinet gmail.com like that I will give a name so I just have added a new field that is email and I have added a new field PRO which is a minute one field of the core model as dot users so I will select the PRO as Mitchell admin so what we are going to do is that we will create a new template for the model patient, hospital dot patient for sending the purpose of the for sending the patient card to the patient so let's see how we can do that so if i go to the settings and then to the technical uh, from the templates i will just take an existing sample so if i scroll down let me take an appropriate sample you can see here i have, I have the sample of uh, for the in invoice model you can see invoice model so i'll just keep this here and i will activate a new tab so if i go to the new tab and if i take the invoice okay invoicing and if i open an invoice if I take a customer invoice you have an invoice here you can see you have a button here that is sent and print so if I click on send I think a pop-up will get okay yeah so once you click on the send and print option you can see a wizard for composing the email is coming that is dear subject is automatically created from the template as well as you can see the report the report which you can print from here is get attached with with the email template so once you click on send and print option the email will send to the corresponding responding recipient specified here so let's see how we can how we can create such a template so I will just copy this name okay and I will go to the pie charm and here is our module that is OM hospital module so what I have done is inside the data file I have created a new file that is mail underscore template.xml for the purpose of creating the templates so just how I just totally define this file and you can see here I have already just a tag so if I search what I have copied from the template if I have so I search this that is I am searching a existing template inside the code so you can see this is the code how that template is created so what I will do is that I will just copy this data so I'll just copy this entire data and I will paste it inside our file I'll just close others so inside our Odoo tag, I will paste what I have copied from there. And if I just remove these comments, and if I will just adjust the indentations, so I'll just move the things using the tab. Okay, that's done. Okay. Now we are going to define the mail template. You can see the model is mail to template. So we have to give an ID for the record. Before that, let me remove some unnecessary things in our case. Okay, I'll just remove some lines which is not necessary at the moment okay let me just okay let me just uh, okay i'll just uh, shorten the things for better understanding okay i have just i'll okay now you can see okay, now you have to give an id for the template so i will give that id as patient card email template i will give such an id email template so what I have done is I have copied the invoice sent by email template and pasted it inside our module and I have updated the ID as patient card email template and the model will be same that is model will be mail door template and inside the name you have to give a name that is I will give the name as patient card patient card sent by email let it be like this itself so we are going to send the patient card over the mail so the name will be name we can give as patient card sent by email and the model you have to specify to which model this email template is going to affect so we are going to create this email template for the hospital man, hosp 
this patient model so if i go to the front end and from here i will select the corresponding model that is hospital and you have this model that is patient model if i take the corresponding model name from edit view form you can see the model name is hospital.patient so i will copy this model name and i will paste the model name here so before specifying the model name you have to give model underscore hospital instead of dot you have to give underscore and you don't need to give account dot so our record is inside module our module itself that is you can just copy your folder name that is om hospital the technical name of the module technical name of the module dot model underscore model name that is hospital dot patient is our model name and this is our module and you have to give model underscore then giving om underscore hospital is not necessary either you can give it or you can leave it as such so we have done that then inside the email from so i have if i go to the front end you can see in the patient model i have added a new field that is pro which is a minute one field of restore uss i will select uh, mutual admin so for our purpose i have added this is we are sending the email from the email id of this pro so in the email id we will specify that as object dot user id dot email formatted that is object is this model that is hospital dot patient and if i click on place the mouse over the pro field you can see the field name is user id so i have given email from us object dot is user id dot email formatted this will give the email id of the user we have selected here okay email from is done now we have to send partner to so we don't have any partner here either if you have any uh, partner fields here so if i go to the invoice i'll just go to the invoice what is invoicing yeah invoicing so if i select an customer invoice you have the partner field here that is you can see you have a customer here so if i click on send and print option in the email com compose message form you have the options to select the recipients you can just send directly the email to the customers so this option is there so right now in our model that is in our hospital patient model we don't have any any part of fields here we don't have any customer related fields here so we will what we will do that i'm just training partner to to email to so we will email to i will give the instead of partner to i will give us email to and in the email address it has to come so here you can see i have defined a new field that is email id so once you click register user you can enter the email id of the user the field technical field name is email id so what i will do this i will go to the pycharm and in the email to object dot email id has to be given email id so email from is specified as the email from the email has to be gone from the address of the pro and it has to be sent to the this email that is email underscore id so that is also given here then we have to give a subject for the mail so i'll just adjust the subject like this i'll give the subject as patient card patient card with reference object dot Oh, which we will give we can send patient id you can see the field name of this is patient id is name underscore seek so i will give as name seek object dot name seek okay i'll just remove this so subject is patient card reference and object dot name sequence which is the id of the patient and inside the body html you have to design that report design the template that is body of the email template okay then here inside we will define a template dr that is object dot partner id dot name so we don't have any partner id field instead of partner we have to come this name that is if i place the mouse over yasin you can see the field name is patient name so i'll give object dot uh, patient name so it will be dear yasin if yasin is selected dear yasin here is your patient card so i can type the content here here is your patient card patient card with a reference with a reference i'll just copy the same thing and i'll put it here with reference with the reference object dot namesake namesake will give you the id of the patient here is your patient card with the reference object dot namesake will give you the id of the patient that is done if you have any queries i'll just update if you have any queries feel 
free to ask so if you get text like that feel free to ask so if you it like that feel free to ask if you need to add more details like uh, uh, patient details I can add it like this I'll just copy this dr and put it here age age has to be selected from here in the patient model you can see you have the age here the field name of the age is patient underscore age age so I'll just copy the same thing age equal to patient underscore age okay that will come there patient underscore age and I'll put the same thing control D and I'll paste it here and I have to add the gender or contact number contact the field name of the contact number is name so I'll just add the contact number to the email template contact number contact number that is object dot name so we will add only this much subject so we have to sign define or design the content of the mail then here you can see report template and report name so report, report template is uh, suppose if I go to this model that is if I go to the invoicing or if you go to the sales you can see here you have the sale order print you can print the quotation from here so once you click on send by email you can see the same report will get attached here you can see the report is get attached to the mail so if you have to attach anything to the main report to the mail you can specify it in report template so we have to attach the patient card along with the mail so I have to give the report ID here so from the OM hospital and if I go to the reports folder yeah, you can see the reports folder and if I take the ID of the report this is the ID of the patient card so if I go to the patient's menu where is patient menu if I close this and if I go to hospital and then to the patients we have already defined a patient card for the patients so we have to send this PDF report over the mail to the patient so this has to this open opening PDF has to get attached with the mail so what I have to do is that you have to, I have to give this ID along with the email template so I will give report template as the ID of the report that is report patient card and you can specify a name for the report so I will give the name as patient card patient card underscore and I'll just replace this I'll just adjust the codings here okay object dot namesick patient card of namesick namesick will be give you the ID of the patient so we have we have designed a mail template so what we have done is we have taken the code existing sample from the invoice model and we have renamed it to patient card email template the model is email dot template and we have given a name for the email template that is patient card sent by email we have to specify the model name here we, our model is hospital dot patient and the e in the email from we have added object dot user id so object dot user id is this pro so this user's mail will be used to send the email and the mail will be received to object dot email id though so that is this email id this field if you place the mouse over over it you can see the field name is email underscore id so we have given it here and the subject for the mail is patient card reference with object dot namesick and namesick will give us the patient id and inside the body html we have this defined design the body of the email that is dear object dot patient name will get replaced by the name of the patient here is your patient card with reference object dot namesick and will replaced by patient id age is patient age contact number is given if you have any queries you can feel free to ask and we have specified the report template that is patient uh, card has to be attached with the email and we have also given a name for report so that's all about how to design a email template so next what we have to do is that so inside the data folder we have defined in added a new file that is mail template I have it added it to the manifest file so in the data section I will just press ctrl T and I will add what's the file name I can see mail template so I will add it into the manifest file that is mail underscore template dot xml so I have add to, added it into the manifest file now I will restart the service as I have made changes inside the Python so the service get, get restarted now I will go to the front end so if I search if you check uh, the email templates it's getting loading you can see right now we have only 19 records here 
so let's update the module so i will from this tab and i will go to apps menu and i will update our module that is hospital management module so let's see what happens once we update this module we will get a new record that is a new template here and inside this menu that is right now we have 19 records it will get changed into 20 so you can see now let me refresh the screen you can see the 19 will get changed to 20 you can see right now we have 20 records so if i search for patient you can see patient card sent by email which we have created from the code has come here that is patient card sent by email has come here so let me open the thing okay you can see this is the template we have defined from the code so you have an option here to preview the the, the template so i will click on this preview and you can see here from here you can select the patient's records so if i select the patient as yasin you can see dear yasin here is your patient card with reference id of the yasin so in this tab i will take the patient's record that is hospital and if i open the yasin you can see his patient id is hp008 so here i have chosen yasin dear yasin here is your patient card with reference the id of the yasin age is 10 so if i check the age of yasin you can see age 10 this age is 10 contact number test mates so contact number is this that is test mates i'll just update here like a number one two three four five six seven eight nine is given as the contact number okay let's see whether it get changed here i will just select another customer another patient and i will come back to the yasin itself you can see once yasin is selected you can see contact number get updated with what we have updated in the corresponding model that's come here and if you have any queries feel free to ask so this is all about how to add a email template in Odoo. if you have any queries you can comment it out or reach us over the mail thank you